the myth of where some of these structures and artistic, creative, just beautiful structures. Let's talk about that a little bit. You see, some of the older buildings, now churches and so on, were built by ancestors. If you read the carved date or year on those buildings, most always say founded. The use of the building was established in the year that's carved, but it had already been built. That's what that means. So, which means the current people who occupy the building aren't the descendants who built it. No. Most historical buildings you see around America, heck, the world, were already built upon white supremacy taking over to later say that their ancestors built it, or if they can't prove it, they say aliens built it. You see, most of the structures were built by enslaved people, and some were already built before slavery became a worldwide fad. How can you tell? Well, look at the artistic creativity of the work, like the creative designs in Africa and all over the world. These genes and gifts are carried down from our ancestors, just like any gifts from parents to their kids. Hence why they got rid of the course called shop that was teaching Negroes to build things and manipulate electricity in many schools and later also got rid of driver's ed. They say that the Negro people were inventing these things without much education. Just by us being connected to these elements brought back memories and gifts from our ancestors and we began to build and discover many things that we as a people have taken for granted. Did you know Negro slash Blacks built the base of everything we use now? From street lights to beds to chips, like potato chips, air conditioners, electricity, toilets, computers, and many more. The modern Europeans didn't really build anything, but they did build the patent office to claim and profit from all the inventions of enslaved people. So they did build that. So let's give them a hand clap for that. I'm not giving them a hand clap for that. The <laughs> The inventions now are occupied from the original inventions. However, artistic creative structures have not been developed since our people stopped building them. Nothing has been built of the creative nature anymore. The structures are now dull, easy, and with no personality. Maybe a little curve here or arrow there or some just very boring. Nothing has been duplicated or made better. They're all just enhanced or built on a bigger scale now, bigger the better. Nothing new, proof number one, is that the white supremacists aren't the original creators or inventors. They now lie and say aliens built it or painted it versus telling the truth and saying they paid and forced a Negro to paint these ceilings of Caucasians and heavenly features that they later whitewash. The proof is that when these designs stopped, whom did this artistic gift get carried down to? Exactly.